Hello, Scorpios. How are you doing? This is Heavenly Tarot. Doing a love read on you guys. We're going to find out who's coming into you guys in the month of November for love. Okay. Welcome to my new viewers as well. Thank you for stopping in, checking out my channel. Please subscribe before you guys leave. I hope you enjoyed this read. It may resonate and it may not. Okay. If it doesn't resonate with you guys, maybe next time. Okay. It is a general read. Okay. So, um, Holy Spirit, um, show us the energies of who's coming in to Scorpio for love in the month of November. Show us the energies, Holy Spirit, of who's coming in to Scorpio for love in the month of November. Okay. All right, Page of Wands. Somebody, uh, Sag, a fire sign. Sag, Leo, Aries person. Um, Tina, they're coming in with an announcement to make to you as well. Okay, the Ten of Cups. Somebody who's coming in wanting a family with you. Um, Knight of Swords, a Gemini coming in. Um, Ten of Pentacles. A, um, somebody coming in wanting to give you stability, comfort, and security. Um, the Eight of Pentacles, somebody that works hard at building. It's been working hard. Okay? Hard-working person. Two of cups. Somebody coming in wanting to commit to you. Okay. So this page of wands. Let's see this fire sign coming in. Holy Spirit, clarify this um, page of wands. Clarify the energy of this page of wands. Okay, nine of wands. Okay, this fire sign has been through a struggle. They're coming in to you to announce something. Maybe to tell you that they've been through some type of struggle. Holy Spirit, clarify this nine of wands. Okay, concerning their stability. Okay. And they're, they're coming in to announce that they're moving towards you. They're moving where you are. The chariot card. Okay, Queen of Cups. Yeah. There's this this um fire sign. This is emotional. They're emotional when it comes to this this situation. So yeah, they're coming in to announce to you that they've been through a struggle concerning with their stability, okay? And maybe they're going to tell you, it, it, it could be too. They're, gonna, they're saying they had to move in with the um, Scorpio person. But they had to move with the Scorpio person. Okay? So that could be the second scenario. Okay, so now, so next, we have somebody coming in that wants a family with you. Holy Spirit, clarify this Ten of Cups. Can you please clarify this Ten of Cups? And Scorpio's energy. Okay, yeah. They want to, this person, they want to, they want a family with you. They want to move to better waters with you. They're coming up with creative ideas. And they may be a cancer person. They're trying to come up with creative ideas how to um, get this stability with you. You innerly satisfy them. So the Aries, you innerly satisfy them, Scorpio. So they're a Cancer Aries person, okay? Yeah, they're ready to bring their Ten of Wands to you. Stability, comfort, and security. They want that. They want to, they, they had a struggle building it up, and they're ready to take it to you. They want to share that with you. This person has marriage, something long-term. When it comes to you, they're thinking long-term, okay? So now we have the Knight of Swords. So I wish whoever this um scorpios whoever these scorpios are whoever this is for i wish you luck with this prospect okay so now we have the knight of swords gemini this person is a challenging person so if you're up for a challenge there you go you have a gemini Okay, but they're very determined as well. They're coming in to you and they're determined to get what they want. This person is obsessed with you. 
They have some type of addictions as well. They may be attached to someone else. So be observant of that. This person has been through a struggle. They got one more wand and they'll be through their struggle. They're going through a struggle. They had a nine of wands. Yeah. Okay. They're out in the cold right now. In the situation. Holy Spirit. Yeah. They're at a loss. Okay. With someone that they may be in some type of relationship with. Okay. They have arguments, conflict, and confusion with this person. Okay. There's disappointment when it comes to this person. All right. This person deceived them. Okay. So they want to come into you with a new beginning of growth. Okay. All right. So Ten of Pentacles. Somebody, um, somebody's coming in to some of you guys that want to have stability, comfort, and security with you. They want a family. The Ten. They want the Ten with you. They want to bring you stability, comfort, and security. Holy Spirit, clarify this Ten of Pentacles and Scorpio's energy. There we go again. This Gemini again. Obsessed. They want a new beginning with you. Yeah, they're obsessed with you. They're attached to someone else, though. They may have some type of addiction. Maybe that's their addiction that they're attached to. They're obsessed with you. This person. I want to let you go. They want a new beginning with you. But they're attached to someone else. Holy Spirit, clarify the devil card. Yeah, they may be in a long term. They may be married. They're some type of, or engaged to someone. Something long term they have with someone else. But they wanted to come in to you with a new beginning. Holy Spirit, clarify the hair font card. Clarify this hair font card. And Scorpio's energy. Yeah, they want fast forward movement. They're coming into you quickly. Quick. So, you know, if you have a score um a Gemini, they may have Capricorn in their chart. If you have that coming into you, Scorpio, just be observant. Ask them ask them if they're married or in a relationship. You may know this person already. They want to move to better waters with you. Okay? So they want to leave who they have and they want to come into you with better to better waters. Okay. Eight of Pentacles. Next, we have a hard worker. Somebody that works very hard at building their stability. That, that works hard in their growth when it comes to their finances. This person um, is coming in to you to offer you something. Some type of stability. Holy Spirit, clarify this for our cups. They want a success when it comes to you. This person is the Aquarius, Scorpio. They want a success when it comes to you. This person may be very intuitive, um, have a gift of intuitiveness. They're coming in wanting to commit to you. They want to come in to offer you a cup of commitment. All right. This person may be challenging. Or this getting this commitment with you is challenging to them. Um, but they're determined to get this commitment with you, Scorpio. Okay, two of cups. Okay. Holy Spirit, somebody coming in wanting to commit to you, Scorpio. Holy Spirit, clarify. It's two of cups and Scorpio's energy. On who's coming in Scorpio for love in the month of November. Okay. This is a Taurus. Okay. There's a Taurus coming in. They're realizing your worth. They want to commit to you. Holy Spirit clarify this um, Queen of Pentacles. Yeah. This person is going through an ending. Okay. And they want stability with you. They're coming in wanting stability with you. 
a Capricorn Taurus person. They're stagnant right now. Probably because of this cycle they're going through. This ending. Okay. But they're wanting to come in and give you balance. They want balance with you. Or they're juggling. They're stagnant right now and juggling the idea of being with you. Okay. This person is going through some conflict with somebody that they may be with in a family with a family situation they're going through conflict okay some type of conflict but they're coming in to you all right so god bless you guys with this i hope everything works out well with this these prospects be alert uh, be alert and observant very observant okay take your time when they come when they come in take your time with these persons okay don't rush God bless you guys. I hope my new viewers enjoyed the read. I hope you guys, my subscribers, enjoyed as well. Um, like, share the video, you guys. Subscribe to my channel, okay? All right. You guys have a good night. Until next time, love, peace, and happiness. And I'm out. You guys be good.